Derby County are in dire need of midfield reinforcements. Now, a lot of people will probably think that I'm a bit wrong on that, but in my opinion, we need some more players in that midfield area. We need a bit more creative spark, a bit more technical ability, as well as that defensive stability. Ibu Adams brings defensive stability, but no technical ability. Kenzo Haldmine brings the creative attitude, but doesn't bring much on the defensive end. Liam Thompson and Ben Osborne are both workhorses, but ultimately need to do a lot more. And David Ozo isn't fit and available, so it makes it really, really difficult. Now, going into this video, you will probably have seen on the thumbnail already that there's four players who I'm going to be looking at in this video, and they all offer something a little bit different, and I think they all have the opportunity to join Derby County and potentially make Derby County's midfield great again. Now, here we have the four players from left to right of Emil Marquiondes, Jakub Sorensen, Peli Mpanzu and Jason Malumbi. Now, I think all of these players offer something a little bit different, all different age ranges as well, some with a lot of experience, some with a little bit less than the others, but I think all four could offer big changes for Derby County in order to bolster that midfield and have more of a presence uh, throughout each and every game. Now, it's obviously... A big question mark for Derby County in that midfield area. And there's a lot that we need to do. Now, starting off with Mark Yondes, a player who is a number 10 type player, a creative-minded player. I think he could offer a lot for Derby County. 29 years old, currently playing for Norwich City. He does have the option for an extra year on his contract, which expires in 2025. But obviously, there's no guarantee that Norwich will take that up. He's, he's shuffled around uh, English football recently and... For me, I do think he offers a lot. I think he could offer something for Derby County on that creative end. And there's a reason why Norwich City bought him in. And for me, I do think that bringing in a player like Mark Yondes would help bolster our midfield. And you look at players like Tawanda Chiwa and Kenza Heldmine, who are sort of those creative players at the moment. I don't necessarily think Chiwa offers much uh, competition, but I think Mark Yondes would for someone like Kenzo Heldmine. So it would be an absolutely, in my opinion, brilliant signing for Derby County to look at. Now, obviously, on to the next one is Jakob Sorensen. Now, the reason why I put him on the list is because he fits into that category of a versatile midfielder and defender, can play anywhere centrally in midfield and uh, across left back or centre back for uh, the team. And I think that's a massive deal. He's 26 years old, born in 1998. His contract expires this summer, but does have that option of an extension. And that's something you're going to see with a lot of these players who, in my opinion, are of the better quality and players who will definitely improve Derby County. And that's something that we've just got to deal with as Derby County fans. A lot of these players are going to have that potential to stay at their clubs because they're going to be good players. And I think he would offer us so much in midfield. I think uh, he's one of the key players, well, Key players, he's played a lot of games for Norwich City this season. I think he's made 15 appearances so far. Popped up with a couple of contributions as well. And that's something which Derby County are missing. I think he'd be an excellent addition to the Derby County midfield. Is it one which is possible? Maybe, maybe not. It's a very difficult decision. But hopefully Santa can drop him off on January 1st. Yes, Santa comes on the 25th of December. But January 1st is the time that we want to bring in a player like Jakob Sorensen. Get him in early doors. Is it a possible deal? Let me know your thoughts at down in the comments. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and gaming content on this channel. Obviously, make sure you check out Kitbag down in the description. There's obviously a lot going on over there when it comes to sales. You can pick up Derby County kits on massive sales at the moment, so make sure you go and check that out, and I'll catch you in the next part of this video. Next up then is Pelly and Panzu, a player who has gone all through the divisions with Luton Town and his contract expires in this summer, this upcoming summer. Obviously, he extended his contract a couple of years ago with Luton Town. He's got tons and tons of experience across the football league. Yes, he's 30 years old, which I think maybe we should be looking a little bit younger. You can probably have the same argument for uh, Mark Yondes as well, but I do think you need to keep uh, a little bit of experience, a little bit of age in the squad to help bolster the young players that are potentially coming through. You look at Derby County, you look at the likes of uh, Cruz Allen, Harry Hawkins, uh, Jack Perry, you look at Niall McAndrew, and you look at all these players who can play these midfield roles and 
you want them to get the best possible opportunity and the best possible possible tutorship from those players above them. You look at uh, the likes of Tom Huddleston helping out with Max Bird, Curtis Davis helped out with Harrison Solomon, Aaron Cashin, Craig Forsyth helped out with Cashin, and Lee Buchanan. You look at players like that, obviously... Uh, you had the likes of Ravel Morrison, Tom Lawrence, Chris Martin, Martin Wagon, all working with the likes of Jason Knight, Morgan Whitaker, and Louis Sibley. And I think Mpanzu could offer Derby County that role for their young players coming through, the likes of Jake Rooney as well. Uh, so it's one of those for me which I think would really open a door to help develop what we already have in the building. And I think he's a really good player. Uh, obviously, Luton Town not necessarily having the season they probably desire, uh, which I think could potentially open the door for an exit for some of their players. And Mpanzu is probably one of those, uh, with the midfield options over there being uh, not necessarily limited, because I do think they need a bit of work in midfield. But I think Mpanzu is a player they may look to move on. And with him being 30 years old and contracts expiring, why not tickle the fancy of Luton Town and see what they have to offer us? And if we could potentially get a deal done. Now, to end off with is Jason Malumbi, a 25-year-old midfielder currently playing for West Bromwich Albion. His contract expires in the summer. Now, he's a player who I think offers that workhorse, defensive ability, mentality, a bit like uh, Ibo Adams, but I think he also offers a lot more on the technical end. And I'm not saying that Jason Malumbi is the second coming of Xavi or Iniesta, but I think he can offer a little bit more than Ibo Adams does to our midfield. And there's obviously... A lot for Derby County to do in that midfield area. Losing the likes of Max Bird and Jason Knight over the past two years has, in my opinion, taken away a lot of the quality from the midfield. Obviously, bringing in Kenzo Haldmine, I think he's a much better player than Max Bird, but ultimately, he needs the right people behind him to give him that freedom. I think you look at uh, the likes of Liam Thompson has stepped up for the first team, Ben Osborne, to take over those roles of uh, your Max Birds and um, your Jason Knights and... Ultimately, for me, I don't quite think they're on the same quality level. I think uh, Ben Osborne is a better player than Max Bird at the moment, but I think in the end, Max Bird will be by far the better player. So it's one of those for me where you look at the players who we've got in this list, the likes of Jason Malumbi, Pelinian Panzu, uh, Jakob Sorensen, and Emiliano Marchiondes. And I just think they can all offer something excellent for Derby County to move forward and progress their first team in order to be able to give those younger lads the option to go out on loan like we have done so far this season the likes of Lennon Wilden, Ben Radcliffe, uh, Max Bardell's out on loan as well, uh, Josh Chattel's gone out on loan, he's a goalkeeper um, so there's lots of opportunities for players to go out on loan for Derby County and I think we just need to make sure that we continue that trend of giving those players that opportunity. Now, obviously, there's no guarantees that any of these players would even be interested in coming to Derby or that we could even afford to bring them in. But in my opinion, it's good to look at the options that are available and are potentially going to be available this summer for Derby County as Paul Warm, Richie Barker and the recruitment staff will be looking to bring in those players with championship experience and potential European narratives. So it's one of those for me where it's going to be really interesting to see how we work the January window because um, in my opinion with some of those players with their contracts expiring get them in on loan or get them in on a cheap deal let's see what they can do until the summer I think it will be a massive opportunity for Derby County now if you have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below turn on that notification bell and stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County content obviously check out kit bag down in the description if you have not done so already some massive discounts going on over there as we head towards Christmas and I'll catch you in the next video